The desert. Often labeled as a barren wasteland, the seemingly endless stretches of land are among the most fascinating places our globe has to offer. The overwhelming sand, rock, and salt plains are practically independent worlds that have always been accompanied by exciting myths and legends. If you thought until now that we'd find nothing but heat and drought in the desert, you were wrong. In fact, exciting secrets have already been discovered in many of these supposed wastelands, which amaze us with their exciting background stories. In today's video, we show you which 10 mysterious finds were recorded in the desert. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell to see more great videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most amazing discoveries so far. Lost Civilization In 2011, British explorers uncovered the relics of a long-forgotten civilization in the Libyan part of the Sahara. Among the exciting traces hidden in the desert sands for so many centuries were the ruins of more than 100 farms and villages. It's commonly assumed that the settlements were established between the years 1 and 500 AD. It's conceivable that the Berber people of the Garamantes were responsible for the construction of the lost cities. The corresponding buildings support the thesis that these people had a far greater cultural influence than previously assumed. In detail, the researchers came across castle-like buildings, apartments, cemeteries, fields, and complex irrigation systems. During their work, the experts mainly relied on the evaluation of satellite images. In this way, they were able to examine huge areas in detail. Karakota during his research trips between 1901 and 1909, the Russian Pyotr Kozlov succeeded in doing what nobody had done for centuries. He tracked down the remains of the medieval city of Karakota. In the 11th century, the town in the Gobi Desert had made a name for itself as a thriving trading center, and a few decades later, Karakota fell into the hands of the Mongols. But even under the rule of Genghis Khan's followers, the city continued to flourish. Its end was only heralded by the attack by the Chinese. Back in 1372, Ming Dynasty soldiers diverted the river that had previously supplied the city with the water it needed to survive. When the wells finally dried up, the ruler Karabator recognized the hopeless situation and made a drastic decision. Instead of surrendering to his enemies, he killed his family and then himself. The remaining citizens and soldiers were ultimately killed by the invading Chinese. Lake Dolores Water Park Children's bright eyes, happy families, boisterous hustle and bustle. You won't find any of this at Lake Dolores Water Park for a long time. In the early 1960s, businessman Bob Byers had a clever idea. He wanted to build the first water park in the United States on the eastern edge of the Mojave Desert. Consequently, one of the biggest attractions of the facility was the many thrilling slides. However, as the park began to attract fewer visitors, it was sold to a group of investors in 1990. They planned to build a 1950s theme park on the site, but financial problems resulted in the property being returned to the buyer's family. From then on, attempts were made to breathe new life into the facility under the name Discovery Water Park, but even the $400,000 renovation could not stop the final demise. Nowadays, there's no trace of the water slides and attractions. Since people keep coming to the site and removing metal from the buildings, the water park today resembles a barren landscape of ruins. Incidentally, the vandals don't have a particularly difficult time. Since the property is not fenced in, it can be entered without any problems. What will happen to the site in the future is still up in the air. Railway Cemetery in the late 19th century, the Bolivian city of Uyuni benefited greatly from the expansion of the country's first railway line. At that time, valuable raw materials and metals were transported from the mines to the transshipment points at the port via the rails. 
However, this branch of industry collapsed completely in the 1940s. After more and more mines had closed their doors, the previously heavily used railway lines were no longer needed. Instead of scrapping the railways professionally, they were shut down without further ado and left to deteriorate naturally. So it is that since then, there have been around a hundred locomotives on the foothills of the Salar de Uyuni salt flats, which, however, only slowly disintegrate due to the prevailing climate. Every now and then, residents visit the site to help themselves to scrap metal, but many tourists also take the opportunity to take a look at the largest railway cemetery in the world. Immortal Plant the circumstances prevailing in the Namibian desert can be described as extreme without hesitation. One of the most bizarre plants on our planet shows how it's still possible to defy the scorching heat for millions of years, the so-called Wellwichia. This plant species, which only grows in the Namib desert, can live for several hundred years. However, it only ever has a single pair of leaves, which fan out over time, which makes it seem as if the Wellwichia calls many different leaves its own. The two leaves can be more than two and a half meters long, and it's believed that particularly large specimens live for up to 2,000 years. It's likely that Wellwichia mainly absorbs water from the ground, but the influence of dew, which is absorbed via the leaves, may also play some role in the supply. Aralgum On the border between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, we find what's probably the youngest desert in the world, the Aralgum. Where we see mainly salt crusts, sand, and forgotten shipwrecks today was where the mighty Aral Sea once stood. With a size of 68,000 square kilometers, it was one of the largest inland lakes in the world up until the 1960s. Over time, however, the Soviet Union decided to tap into the Aral Sea to supply water to the vast cotton-growing areas. In this way, the water volume was reduced by 90%, while the salinity quadrupled in the same breath. One of the consequences of this development is the increased occurrence of dust storms. The blown dust particles form clouds up to 400 kilometers long, carrying hazardous substances such as pesticides, heavy metals, and even radioactive material to areas more than 2,000 kilometers away. Band of Holes the Band of Holes is a highly mysterious area in Peru that's home to around 7,000 holes that have been dug into the desert floor. Each of the holes is estimated to be around 2 meters deep, with the overall area of holes being around 1.5 kilometers long and about 20 meters wide. The holes were first discovered as researchers were looking through the Pisco Valley of the Nazca Plateau. Who created these holes or what purpose they serve has never been determined. Some people believe that they could have been used for some sort of ceremonial or religious purposes. However, others believe they may be nothing more than a burial ground for the people who lived there many years ago. All we know for sure is that the pits were dug between the 15th and 16th centuries, but we don't know if they would have been dug by the Inca, Nazca, or Paracas people. In reality, they may not have been dug by any of these people and could belong to a settlement that's been lost to time. Film City Film City in Qatar is arguably one of the most secluded film sets around. Several hours' drive from the capital Doha, the village in the middle of the desert initially looks like an ancient Bedouin town. It's not exactly easy to find out what's already been filmed here. Depending on who you ask, the answers vary greatly. What is certain is that where Film City is now, there was once a fishing village. However, there's no trace of film and TV stars in the large backdrop city. Most of the time, you only meet a few security guards who keep a close eye on the property. Abandoned Prison in 1952, the U.S. government had the so-called Boron Air Force Station built in the U.S. state of California. The military facility was then abandoned in the mid-1970s, only to be converted into a prison a short time later. 
Until the year 2000, male convicts who had committed comparatively minor crimes were housed here. The security precautions were correspondingly relaxed. There were no fences or watchtowers here. In fact, not even the cells could be locked. However, after the jail finally closed its doors, the penal institution was left completely to its own devices. In fact, it's strictly forbidden to enter the facility without official permission. Anyone who goes to this lost place anyway must expect a hefty fine or a prison sentence. Sanded Church in the late 13th century, the clergy in Jutland, Denmark, decided to dedicate a church to St. Lawrence. So it happened that the church got a magnificent tower, a sacristy, a porch, and even a small cemetery. The problem, the church was surrounded by fields and meadows, so there was practically nothing that could have saved it from the progressive silting up. Over time, this became such a problem that the church's entrance had to be dug up periodically. In the late 18th century, the inhabitants gave in to the superiority of nature. The church was completely demolished except for the church tower. Presumably, some remnants of that time are still slumbering under the sand today. In addition to the original floor, this also includes the tombstones of ecclesiastical authorities. Even if the church no longer serves its original purpose, services are still held here during the summer months under the open sky. The Green Sahara what seems difficult to imagine from today's perspective was still part of the natural landscape about 10,000 years ago. At that time, the Sahara presented itself as a green, blooming savanna, which served as a rich home for large herds of wild animals and also for some people. A few years ago, scientists managed to rediscover the traces of such a people. More specifically, researchers discovered around 200 graves in Niger containing the remains of many former residents. Residence. In addition, the explorers tracked down some shards, beads, and stone tools. A valuable upper arm bracelet made of ivory was also one of the archaeological treasures. Some of the deceased were laid on flowers during their burial, further proof of how lush and green the present-day desert once was. About 8,000 years ago, a dry period finally set in, which gradually forced the inhabitants to leave their former home. Fairy Circles If you were to take a hike through the Namibian desert, you would eventually come across a strange area of land that to this day has never been explained. These mysterious circular structures on the ground are called fairy circles by the locals, but no one knows where they came from. If you were to look at the circles and take them at face value, it appears as though they were created by some unseen force. That's because there's no natural explanation about how they came to be. They don't appear to have been created by any natural process that's currently known. To this day, the origins of the so-called fairy circles remain unknown, but that doesn't mean there haven't been numerous theories that propose where they came from. Some people claim that creatures like termites could have caused damage to the soil resulting in strange circles. Others believe that harmful fungi could be causing grass and other vegetation to refuse to grow. However, neither of these theories have been proven. Another far-fetched idea is that underground gases are causing the circle, or even that ostriches or zebras have been rolling around on the ground. None of these explanations seem to make sense, nor could any of them realistically cause such perfect circles to be formed. Another strange fact is that the circles never overlap one another. They're all separate and stand apart from the others. We don't know what this may mean for the natural landscape, but it has led many to believe that the circles are being created by an unknown force. The circles can achieve diameters of anywhere from 2 meters to 20 meters. They'll all appear for a period of about 75 years before they disappear, never to be seen again. All right, folks, now your opinion matters. What do you think of the exciting things that are in the middle of the desert? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Finally, please take a look at the other posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the pictures in the credits. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.